Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, We're the Movie Couple. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. And this is our review for King Richard. King Richard stars Will Smith, Demi Singleton, Sanaya Sidney, Anjanou Ellis, John Bernthal, and Tony Goldwyn. Venus and Serena Williams came from an unlikely background to dominate the world of tennis. This film takes a look at these tennis superstars and how they became who they are after coaching from their father, Richard Williams. King Richard. I actually didn't, don't remember really seeing a trailer for this. No, I don't remember seeing I the, saw the poster. Mm-hmm. With the, yeah, with um, Will Smith behind the shopping cart with the two girls full of tennis balls. Yes, but it is a story. I did know that it was, because it was it said in the tagline, a story of not just Serena and Venus William, but of their father, which mm -hmm. the movie is titled after King Richard, and how he really helped shape the girls, coach the girls all throughout their tennis career, especially the earlier part of their tennis career. So I really enjoyed, I'm not really one for like sports biopic, films yeah. uh usually but this one um obviously you look at the cast i found that really really interesting and i thought will smith done sold i want to go and see this film. yeah and will smith does have a pretty good background of doing some good biopics uh, yeah i remember him in ali and mm -hmm. i thought he did a really great job with this one and i will have to say i feel like just performance alone him um, as Richard Williams in King Richard might be my favorite Will Smith role. Yeah, he did date. a really good job on embodying the character, and you really don't see Will Smith. Correct. There are a lot of moments to where once he's kind of just fully into the character, you really just see Richard Williams. Mm -hmm. um, even though, yeah, you look at the screen, you're like, oh yeah, that's Will Smith. Yes. Um, there's still some things about Will Smith that you can never really take away. But I think he just did a great job on making us see this character for what he is, embodying all of the wounds and all of the history that went into this character that was maybe only mentioned, but really taking everything to heart and actually kind of showing it in his body and his stance and yes. the way that he talked. Now I don't even mind you saying we hard on these kids. You know why? Because we are. And it was really actually unique to hear Will Smith talk about it. Yes. In the um, panel that we saw afterwards. Yeah, so we went to a screening um, and they had a Q&A uh, after the film with the cast of the film and uh, somebody did ask about him embodying the character and he talked about his process of that. The wardrobe obviously helped, but it was really breaking down the, how what, what the characters thinking in their head um, as well as the way they walk the way they talked and then you kind of put that all together and being on set being surrounded in that environment with your co-stars obviously that you know helps pull everything together as well and I think the dynamic of the cast is really phenomenal I think there's a couple of scenes between Will Smith and Anjanou Ellis that I really really enjoyed and I think she is uh, kind of like the anchor of the film if like I feel like if if Will is, or should I say, yeah, Will's character is kind of like the head. Mm -hmm. She's the heart. Yes, um, very much so. I love the analogy that they used during the interviews that Will Smith, I mean, um, Richard Williams was very much the architect, but his wife was very much the builder. Yes, absolutely. And then you have, you know, it's not just a film about how he raised, raised the girls to be um, tennis superstar and he helped, how he helped, you know, start and mold their career. But it's it's also about, you know, the family and their background. They're, they're from Compton. They live in Compton. So the, um, the challenges of having the girls a safe place for them Especially to five practice. Especially five girls. <laughs> five girls, you know, in Compton and trying to find ways to to be able to afford the top of the top coaches and when a lot of them said no and I found that really interesting, you know, through um, the Richard through the character Richard in the beginning of the film we see him handing out homemade pamphlets. <laughs> that was actually um, really funny. Yeah, to all the coaches at these like luxurious probably Beverly Hills or Hollywood Hills country club and they all just kind of like, yeah, okay, but he believed in not just the girls drive and ability um, and talent mm -hmm. for tennis, but he had and that's a through line through this film. The is plan. He had a plan. He and this is true um, according to the Williams family Richard Williams wrote these pl the life plans for these two girls, Serena and uh, Venus. I don't even know if he like knew because we don't know the details of the plans. Like, did he know it was gonna be like he's like I'm gonna have two girls and they're gonna be tennis players. Does it does it really work like that or was it just any of the kids, 
you know, I have, they're going to be tennis players, and how do you, because they have five girls. Well, not just the fact of that, but it was, yeah, written two years before they were born, and that they would compete against each other, and they would be, like, the best of the best yes, kind of a thing. And, and it's kind of like, all. how did you pull, how did you know that? How did you, how were you able to pull that off kind of a thing? And it's an impressive story to see how he kind of went to it step by step and how the family kind of molded around it and it was just a really interesting story and yeah. i really enjoyed how he taught his girls i enjoyed the lessons that he taught behind all of the things that they did um it is just a very powerful story yeah it's very motivational even if you don't play tennis it might make you want to go maybe i try to pick up a racket in this ball <laughs> for for at least once what's really impressive is these girls really nailed the stance and the sounds that serena and venus uh both make when they play every tennis player have if you've been to any sort of tennis match um, have a unique sound when they when when they play. All athletes do essentially. Yeah. You know, like it's kind of. But tennis courts are usually so quiet in a match, <laughs> and, and it kind of echoes. So when the player is kind of when they as they hit and they're going ah whatever it is to put a little bit more power behind their swing, you you really hear that. Um, and I think these girls really nailed it. They um, apparently spent a lot of times with with the family members to make sure they got it exactly right um so i really enjoy this movie so much i can see a big buzz building around this for awards season yes uh you know for maybe uh, um for maybe best actor mm -hmm. uh, maybe best actress you mm -hmm. know there's a lot of really phenomenal actresses in this because we have you know ingenue we have demi and we have sanaya uh, amongst others, and John Bernthal and um, Tony Goldwyn are also in this film as the two uh, coaches for that really helped propel the uh, career of the girls. And I just want to say for the John Bernthal character, <laughs> it is the most on John Bernthal type character I have ever seen him play, and I loved it because there were still moments though. Do we, there were really? there were moments that I picked up because you know he kind of does he kind of does like that nose thing every night when he's like upset. <laughs> he kind of does that kind of a thing. That's and a John Bernthal. Thing. It's kind of a, a John, John Bernthal, Bernthal thing. But I loved it too. I'm, I'm sitting here going, "That's the Punisher." Oh my gosh, didn't this sound is, like didn't him. sound like him. He's a very happy like, "Hey girls, come on, we're gonna go play some tennis," and he's like excited, <laughs> and I'm like. I've just, I mean, no, I'm used to him in Walking Dead and yes. Punisher. And not in those tight, tight, white uh, tennis shorts that oh they got, all, the, all the men wore. They all were the, the tightest wore. on Will, though. Yeah. They were, the, they they were, were pretty so, tight. Kind of pretty, and he talked about that in the Q&A as well, which was interesting. So if you're looking for something to watch, come November 19th. Uh, we It will be in theaters as well as on HBO Max. So if you're you're still iffy about going to the theater, which we completely understand, you can uh, you have mm -hmm. HBO Max. This is something that you definitely would, I would, we would suggest giving it a watch. And with that said, we're going to go ahead and give our rating for this film, which you can find the movie couple rating system in the video description and mine is check it out i thought it was a very moving story you're definitely going to shed a couple of tears here and there there's going to be some moments that you go oh my gosh that really happened and yes it all really did happen uh, i think will gives a fantastic performance as uh richard williams i think he yes. really embodied it and i really enjoy seeing all the ladies being super super incredible in this film as well i want to give it a check it out as well um since it is coming out on hbo i mean if you can't get to the theaters then definitely when you have access to hbo definitely at least watch it on hbo it's an incredible movie everyone has does an incredible job in their performances incredibly well written script and definitely check it out and there you have it that is our review for the movie king richard which will be out in theaters november 19th as well as on hbo max let us know what you thought of the film in the comment section below once you've seen it thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye